Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, guys, we are back with our Ascendant Creature series, um, and there is a Procoptodon here. Now, the Procoptodon is one of the most requested creatures um, that people want to see me do an Ascendant Creature Unlock on, so we're gonna go ahead and tame this guy. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna check it out and hopefully he ends up being really, really cool. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna turn my infinite ammo off real quick. Um, you can bola Procoptodons, but uh, bolas don't work super well when you have the infinite ammo on. He holds still for like two seconds. Perfect. All right, real quick, I'll turn on infinite ammo and then we'll just start uh, tranking this guy out. All right, now unfortunately I did lose um, my good long neck rifles um, on the Ascendant Unicorn, but uh, the primitive still works pretty okay. And this is good. I hope they don't hit my Procoptodon. Let's lead him over here a little bit. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Ugh. Okay. Um. Amazingly enough, the Procoptodon is still, in fact, alive, and this is why raptors are generally terrible, and I hate them so, so much. Um, but it's okay. We've got it. We're alive. Everything's fine because God Console is amazing, so didn't even have to worry about that. Let's run back over here to where it's down. And yes, um, Procoptodons do take mushrooms so i do have some mushrooms on me but i'm also going to use a soothing bomb on this guy just to make sure um that he does in fact tame up because i only have four mushrooms and that's not very many so hopefully this works out pretty well per perfect okay so that is going to be two mushrooms um i'll just take that one so he should tame up in just a second here and then i'm going to go ahead and request him back to my base down south uh, to make things a little bit easier. And I'm actually not leveling him up while I do this, mostly because um, it would take more rare mushrooms to tame him up, and I really just don't want to have to mess with that. So um, I'm just letting him tame normally, and we will put levels into him after, after he's all tamed up, which should still work out just fine. But I'm really excited about this Procoptodon. We are going to see what kind of crazy jumps we can do um, and normally they're pretty weak on melee, so I'm really hoping that we'll get some good melee out of this guy. Especially with the changes that have come to the Ascendant Creature Unlock and the God Console, where now the God Console level up target will give you 10 levels per tap instead of one. This is going to go a heck of a lot quicker, which makes me very happy indeed. All right. How adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head back to base and request him there. And then we'll put a saddle on him and start leveling. So I'll see you guys in just a couple of minutes here. All right, guys. So we are back. Um, the Procoptodon is now here, and he is adorable. So this is him. Um, they're pretty quick normally, so this is pretty normal speed. Uh, this is their normal jump, which is pretty good. And then they have this little kick attack as well as a little bite attack um, that they do with their head. So that's kind of adorable. But uh, yeah, this guy's not super strong, so we're gonna go ahead and start leveling him up. And luckily, these give like so much more XP than they used to. It is fantastic. We are just going to get all of the experience on this guy. Um, the numbers actually look kind of weird right now. Not sure what's up with that, but um, in just a few taps, we've hit 415 levels, which is Honestly, that's awesome. I'm so excited about that. So first thing I'm gonna level is melee because I want to see how strong we can get this guy. <laughs> and there we go. All right, so base melee was 120 and now it's gonna be at 2,181. Um, not bad. So let's test him against a turtle. Turtle has 1,120 health. All right, three hits to kill that. It's not bad. Um, let's check this turtle. How much did that do? That's our knockback attack. Uh, pretty similar. Just does a little bit more pushback. So that's not bad, but it did take 415 levels to get it even that good, and it is definitely not like a one-hit kill situation. So we could definitely do better. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tap this a few more times. We're gonna level that up again. And then once we've got about a one hit kill on most things, we're gonna start leveling movement speed because I'm sure everybody wants to see just how fast the Procoptodon can go. All right. I love how much faster this is. The leveling is so much less painful now and it just makes me super happy. I'm very pleased. <laughs> I think they made a really good uh, a really good call here on making that do at 10 times the amount when you have the Ascendant Creature Unlocked. That is awesome. All right, and the Carbonimus now dies pretty quickly, so I'm pretty happy with where that's at. Yep. Um, decent amount of damage. We'll be able to take on most things. Now, what I really want to take on is movement speed because Procoptodons are a travel mount. They're super fast. They have this super big jump. And while melee is awesome on them, um, and he probably could take on something a little bit bigger, I'm most concerned about getting his jump as good as we can get it. Now, I'm not sure how affected by movement speed that is, but we are going to find out. Like, I want to be able to make the jump from here over to the Redwoods without even trying. So, let's go ahead and pump a bunch of levels into movement speed. This is probably a bad idea. <laughs> They're so fast already, it's going to be an issue. It'll be similar to the unicorn, I think, where he's just going to end up launching himself into space. Um, but that's okay. That's kind of fun. Alright, let's put all of these in here. Where are we going to end up? <laughs> 916 movement speed. Well, eh, I want to go a little faster, but we'll see how this goes for now. Whoa. Okay, I can't even turn around. It's too fast. Oh my goodness. Okay. I thought the galley was fast. This is, uh, this might be faster. Okay. <laughs> um, and we're jumping. I did not do that. Fun. <laughs> okay. Can we get up? Yep. Okay. We're good. We're here. I just need to turn around real slow, really slow and jump. Nice. Okay. So if you get a running start, you can make that jump. It's a little bit hard to do otherwise, but um, it's definitely possible. Oh my gosh, we're just, oh, we're so fast. Okay. I'm actually afraid of how fast this Procoptodon is. It's fantastic. Um, we are doing some really impressive jumps, so we'll probably try to make our way up the volcano, although I have no idea how we're gonna survive that at this speed. Like, going up the volcano at this speed is going to be a challenge in and of itself. Oh my goodness. No, this is the wrong way. I'm having the same problem I had with the unicorn, where I had to, like, uh, go really, really slow in order to get anywhere. Just because every time I hit, like, a slight bump, we'd launch ourselves into the air, which is, um, fun, but definitely a problem for, for making these kinds of videos. Alright, can we not? Nope. At least we're near the path now. Hello, Rex friend. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with the Procoptodon. It was one of the most requested creatures that we do for this series, so definitely um, happy that I was able to find one and do this. But yeah, I don't plan to stop. Like, these videos are really, really fun, and I'm kind of hoping that we can do quite a few more of these, especially now that the Ascendant Creature um, is a little bit easier to use. Can we... Uh, let's not get stuck. His turn radius is not quite sharp enough to make life easy. All right. Blah. This path is so narrow. We're getting up here. We're going to do it. We're going to launch ourselves off the volcano like everybody wants us to do all the time. So we're going to see just how far we can fly on this guy. I might even level up movement speed again once I get up there and ready to jump. Um, but I'm a little bit afraid of doing it now because then I would never get up there. I would hit too many rocks along the way. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll take it up to something ridiculous, like 10k movement speed. I think that would be insane, especially considering that this is only 900%, so 10 times faster than this. Um, probably would break the game, but I think it will be fun to test out, and I've not put that many levels into things yet because I've kind of been tired of pushing that button, but now I don't have to push the button as much to get there, so... We might just give that a try once we jump off the volcano at this current speed, just to see how it goes. Now, what I'm really hoping is that I don't go too fast and end up leaping off before I'm ready to. 
Okay, not bad. <laughs> I have to like tap so carefully. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna sort of um, jump back in a southerly direction, sort of towards uh, where my base is. And hopefully that works out rather well. Back up a little more. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more um, points into movement speed just to get it up there and make it really so that we go as far as we possibly can um, with the speed because I think that'll be really fun. And then yeah, we are gonna go ahead and try. We're gonna try to do 10K movement speed on this guy. I think that's a little insane, but you know what? Why the heck not? <laughs> Okay, let's see where we're at. 16, 14, not too bad. It's about right for this kind of a thing. Okay. And we're jumping. It's not as impressive as I would have liked, I think. It's pretty good. I mean, we went really far compared to what most creatures can do. Um, we did land in the redwoods. So that is not bad, but I think most creatures do in fact go much um, much less far just because of the jump. And so I don't think that that jump was due to his speed necessarily. I think most of that was due to um, just the, the Percoptodon having a really good movement speed, like a really good jump to begin with. Oh my gosh, we are so fast. We'll like hit the ground once every 10 seconds. It'll be good. <laughs> Okay, we're too fast um, to even like steer correctly, but uh, we're not fast enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and level this guy up a little bit more. I hope I'm not pushing it too far with him, but I really wanna get up to that 10K movement speed. Maybe we'll start out with like 5K and see how that goes. And then we'll go up to 10K because I really wanna see what that looks like on him. Okay, let's do this. Movement speed it is. I love how he still has 444 health. I haven't even bothered with that. I've just kind of been ignoring it since I have the invincible mode on, which makes it pretty pretty good. Honest, honestly, it's really it's a really useful thing to have. Um okay, we're almost there. <laughs> we have 23k. We need to go quite a bit more to get to 5k. Um a Sarko's trying to death roll me. Maybe I should do this for the Sarko, because the Sarko is already so fast in water that he's hard to control. So I'm kind of imagining we could get around the map in about 10 seconds flat. Maybe less if we uh, if we leveled up movement speed on the Sarko. But now that the Sarko has that fun death roll, like there's so many possibilities for using that guy. It's going to be great. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Here we go. This should be way better. Almost a thousand levels to pump in here. All right, we're just holding it. Let's see how high we can get it. Oh my gosh. 37. Not even close, but, um, can I kill you? There we go. You were bothering me. Um, okay, so this is normal walking speed. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. Yep, we are faster than the render now. I'm not surprised, but oh my goodness, it's fantastic. I'm just, <laughs> anything I hit is gone. Uh, let's not go towards the Redwoods. That would be like a recipe for a crash. Uh, if anything is going to make my game crash, it's trying to go this fast in the Redwoods. All right, can we head sort of southish? Oh my goodness. Well, I didn't mean to go quite that far, but um, it works, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we'll go over by the green obelisk. There's a little bit more open area over there, so it could be a little bit easier to get around. My gosh, we're so fast, it's painful. Uh, through the swamp. And we can basically climb walls now. I think that's maybe my favorite part. Oh, that was so laggy. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, I love it. We are, we are definitely too fast for the game right now. And I actually kind of think it's amazing. Um, I'm a little bit afraid, but yeah, we are way too fast for the game. We keep hitching like that and it's great. <laughs> okay, cool. 
Yeah, so the render is definitely um, definitely struggling with what we're doing here today. All right, so I'm going to take a quick cutscene here because I have a feeling the next speed increase we do is for certain going to crash the game. So I'll see you guys in just a second here. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, I've actually pumped some levels into this guy, about a thousand some odd levels. So we're now up to 5,900 44.1% movement speed. That point one is obviously very important. Um, this is now our normal walking speed, which is already causing problems. Um, yeah, and we're going to see... Yep. Sonic speed. <laughs> this is about as fast as it gets here. Um, yeah, we are definitely too fast for the game here. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, okay. We're here. We're alive. Okay. I thought for sure we'd crashed at that point, but, um, nope. We're just having fun hopping through the grasslands at supersonic speeds. I'm not even seeing some of these creatures render in until I've passed them. Like it's, it's that impressive. They're popping to life in front of me. <laughs> okay. And this is only 6,000% movement speed. This is not as fast as we can possibly go. So I think we need to go faster. <laughs> I'm going to regret this. I know I'm going to regret this, but you know, oh no, a raptor. Ugh, why? No. Oh gosh, stop. Oh, he's too fast. Um, I'm actually going to put him on passive. And I might actually put some points into his health now, because I almost forgot that raptors could pounce you even when you're invincible. They won't hurt you, but they can hurt your creature. And um, I have not given him any health yet, so I might do that as well. That is not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, so we're going to just pump a ton of levels into him. Um, we're going to try to get up to 10k movement speed here. And I'll probably put a couple points into health as well. Okay, guys, we're back, and we are now um, much better off. So this Recoptodon now has 18,000 health, which is not too bad, um, but it does have 10,000 1.5% movement speed. So that is insanely fast. Um, 10K movement speed, we've done it. Like, inch over here and kill the Therry real quick. Um, so it's not in my way. But yeah, this is the fastest creature I think I've ever had on the game so far. Um, and the unicorn was pretty darn fast, but this is definitely faster. So this is walking speed. This is normal speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just a little quick. Um, okay, so I, I'm not going to be shocked if this legitimately breaks my game here, but... Here we are. That's 10k movement speed, guys. Oh my goodness. Uh, you can't even see it properly at the moment because we're so darned fast. It's, uh, it's actually legitimately kind of a problem here for me. Oh my goodness. Yep, we just, I think we just phased through some trees. I saw them, like, I saw them render in, like, as I was passing them, um, which is pretty amazing. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. We are so painfully fast. The rocks keep getting in the way. I just want some clear land to move on. Um, and unfortunately, it just it doesn't exist on the island map, which is terrible because this is amazing. 10k movement speed. My game is still handling it, so big shout out for the iPhone 8 Plus for being one of the, I think, best phones for this game. Uh, this would certainly crash most devices in, in my experience. Like, this should crash my game, and I'm shocked that it hasn't yet. Um, yeah, I am phasing through so many things. We just jumped all the way to Carno Island. <laughs> I didn't even touch the water. We just jumped all the way over here. That's how fast we are. I love it. I love it so much. Um, this is definitely the king of Procoptodons up here. We'll just uh, come up here on our rock and look majestic for a second. All right, enough of that. I'm bored. Let's go run more. Um, I do kind of want to see if we do a crazy jump when we uh, go in the water and then exit it again. Whoa! 
Yep. Yep. What a lovely island we have. I think I might actually jump over almost the whole island. I'm going to land on, like, this mountain. Just barely, I'm going to land on this mountain. I'm kind of sad. No, 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 no. We made it, we made it. We just jumped over the entire island on, like, a diagonal. I didn't even think that was possible, but um, we've definitely done it. <laughs> I kind of wonder if I could shoot for the volcano. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> this is amazing. I just got to say, I think playing with movement speed is one of my favorite aspects of the Ascendant Creature Unlock. Um, it was really fun having like super OP compies and a super OP dodo as well, which now I feel like I should redo because we can do so much better now that we have all these. Oh my goodness. But um, yeah, it would be absolutely incredible to do something even even better than those, you know, because we do, we now have a lot more capabilities with this than we did. So, uh, super fun. And I keep getting stuck on these rocks, which makes me sad because I could totally jump this stuff. There we go. <laughs> I love how he's still kind of swimming when he gets into the air for a second before he figures out that he's jumping. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's just really, really good. So yeah, I... I cannot get over how fast this guy is, and I am so beyond impressed with my phone for not crashing at 10k movement speed. Um, yeah, and I know a lot of people have asked me to turn on the fly mode and just check out how fast we could be that way, because then we're not running into stuff all the time. But if I do that, I will legitimately never see this Procoptodon again. If I try to hop off um, and get it to land, it will circle me in like two circles at insane speeds and then just like blink itself out of existence pretty much. Um, so I don't want to lose this Procoptodon right now because I'm still kind of having fun with it on my own. And so that's the only reason I am not doing that. Um, but hopefully you guys can get kind of an idea of just how fast this creature is. It's uncontrollable how quick we are. Um, Oh my gosh, and we are hitching and lagging every two seconds because of it. So, yeah, that's definitely something to be aware of when you do this, is that um, it can and will crash your game in most cases if you do something like this. And we've actually landed almost perfectly back at base. So, yeah, I think I'm actually going to wrap this one up here, guys. So, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, please do remember to hit that like button, guys, because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.